Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Because we're in the holy month of Ramadan We can never get enough reminders About worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And the various ways in which we can come closer and worship our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the types of worship which we all hope to have instilled in us because it leads and it's actually a part of taqwa Allah and as we said on prior occasions Taqwa Allah, which often is translated as fearing Allah, is staying away from those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and doing those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded. That's Taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. And a part of that Taqwa and another aspect of ibadah, or another type of ibadah, as ibadah, there's many types in Islam. In Islam, it's not restricted to supplication. And it's not restricted to just salat, the prayer. And it's not restricted to just to making hajj or umrah. Those are all some of the greatest forms of ibadah. But ibadah, as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Rahimahullah ta'ala, كُلُّ مَا يُحِبُّهُ اللَّهُ وَيَرْضَاهُ مِنْ أَفْعَالْ وَأَقْوَالْ الظَّاهِرْ وَالْبَاطِنْ The Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah رحمه الله تعالى said Ibadah is everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and is pleased with from those things from those outward acts and those inward acts, as we said, a, 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 a tawakkul on Allah, or khushur, or khashiyah, all those different types of fear, and having hope, ragaba wa rahba, all of those things, the hope and the fear, those are all acts of ibadah, and they're all various types of ibadah they distinguish one from another and those are inward types so again ibadah can be outward and, and inward and from one of the great greatest types of ibadah that the anbiya the people the the the, the prophets alayhim after salatu wasalam all the prophets and all the Messengers, alayhim after salatu was salam. They came with the message of Tawheed to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And to call the people away from shirk. Warn them against shirk, against polytheism. And another aspect of ibadah that they had in common as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes him in the Quran, قال إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا يُسَارِعُونَ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ وَيَدْعُونَنَا رَغَبًا وَرَهَبًا وَكَانَ لَنَا خَاشِعِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتاب الكريم describing those great forms of ibadah that the mu'mineen, the believers have and the believers should have that, that even though we find ourselves in various states of weaknesses and strength, but we should have this and strive to have it, strive to increase our, our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, come closer to Him and have this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes Him by saying, Verily, they are those who strive, yusari'una fil khayrat. They strive and struggle for khayrat. For the various ways of doing righteousness. 
وَيَدْعُونَنَا And they supplicate, they supplicate to Allah. They ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيَدْعُونَنَا رَغَبًا وَرَهَبًا With hope and fear. وَكَانَ لَنَا وَكَانَ لَنَا الْخَاشِعِينَ وَكَانُوا لَنَا الْخَاشِعِينَ And they were the khashi'een, those who, who have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who really fear doing sins. Wallahu musta'an. May Allah forgive us of our shortcomings and bless us to be of them. To be of the mu'mineen, those who fear, who are fearful of entering a sin, not because the people will see you, but because you know your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. Those sins can help prevent those dua that you're making. You're making dua. But the sinfulness can prevent you from having that dua accepted. So strive your utmost to leave the sins and supplicate to Allah. And fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear His punishment. That's sufficient. Fear the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And strive for His mercy. And seek His mercy. Seek His favor. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.